breaking. Uriwa cautions army against criminalizing IPOB in Southeast. Uriwa cautions army against criminalizing IPOB in Southeast. To my dear listeners, I greet you from wherever you are hearing me from. And um, irrespective of the weather over there, I say I implore you to listen and stay tuned to today's news. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Oriwa, has condemned comments credited to the Nigerian Armed Forces in which it blamed the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, for the crimes in the southeast region. It urged the army to listen to President Muhammad Dubari, who at the recent chief of army staff Kohas conference urged the Nigerian military to boost its strategic intelligence, gathering capacity and infrastructure. In a statement issued yesterday in Abuja by its national coordinator, Emmanuel Oumbiko, Huriwa said it was a shame that the nation's military could depend on primitive conjectures and on scientific methods to carry out its constitutional responsibility to Nigerians. It recalled that about a week, IPOB had in a statement alleged that some Fulani Earthmen were planning to attack some towns in Anambra and Imo State. Oriwa said the secessionist group accused Imo State Governor of Uzodima of being behind the planned attacks urging concerned residents to be vigilant and resist his antics. It said the civil society community had watched with shock and embarrassment that the Nigerian armed forces had failed to activate intelligence gathering and capacity for prompt, transparent, open and verifiable investigative activities to ascertain the real suspect of the violence that had engulfed the country. Oumbiko lamented that the country had witnessed killings and attacks on strategic national security infrastructure, which he said amounted to terrorism of the highest caliber in the southeast, with the armed forces ascribed all the crimes and violence to the IPOB. We are patriotic Nigerians who believe in the sovereignty of the country, but we are saddened and disappointed that an army that the nation has invested trillions of United States dollars and to set up in many years could see it in their offices far away from a crime scene and guess which groups or persons committed a crime even without forensic investigation. This is an embarrassment and a shame of monumental proportions that defy logic and good reasoning. We want our armed forces to wear their thinking cap and start doing proper solely and start doing proper shouldering built upon intelligence and forensics as obtainable in civilized climes, he added. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, has condemned comments credited to the Nigerian Armed Forces in which it blamed the indigenous peoples of Biafra, IPOB, for the crimes in the southeast region. It urged me to listen to President Bromo Muhammadu Buhari, who are the recent chief of army staff, Kohas, conference urged the Nigerian military to boost its strategic intelligence gathering capacity and infrastructure. In a statement issued yesterday in Abuja by its national coordinator, Emmanuel Oumbiko Uriwa said it was a shame that a nation's military could depend on primitive conjectures and unscientific methods to carry out its constitutional responsibilities. To Nigerians, it's recalled that about a week, IPOB had in a statement alleged that some Fulani Earthmen were planning to attack some towns in Anambra and Imo State. Uriwa said the secessionist group accused Imo State Governor of Uzodima of being behind the planned attacks, urging concerned residents to be vigilant and resist its, its antics. It said the civil society community had watched with shock and embarrassment that the Nigerian armed forces had failed to activate intelligence, gathering and capacity for prompt, transparent, open and verifiable investigative activities to ascertain the real suspect of the violence that had engulfed the country. Oumbiko lamented that the country had witnessed killings and attacks on strategic 
national insecurity national security infrastructure which he said amounted to terrorism of the highest caliber in the southeast but the armed forces ascribed all the crimes and violence to the IPOB. we are patriotic nigerians who believe who believe in the sovereignty of the country but we are saddened and disappointed that an army that the nation has invested trillions of united states dollars on to set up in many years could sit in the offices far away from a crime scene and guess which groups or persons committed a crime even without forensic investigation this is an embarrassment and a shame of monumental proportions that defy logic and good reasoning we went we want our armed forces to wear their thinking caps and start doing proper soldiering built upon intelligence and forensic as obtainable in civilized climes. Now we've come to the end of our today's news. Let's move to the comment section and let's see what people are saying. The first comment which I ever says, non known entity, useless association, where were you when so called IPOB were beheaded to policemen? And another comment which I ever says, that is why we are doing everything possible to make sure that zoo called Nigerian is collapsed because the country can't stand. God has marked to destroy zoo called Nigerian and nothing any fools can do about it. A message from Andawusa people wishing the country to be down by all means. And to my dear listeners, I think let, let's just address this um, a news, a very quick one so, uh, so that we understand this. Um, I want to employ all, I feel the Nigerian army, all arm, Nigerian armed forces should always make a proper investigation before, before taking a move. This is their work. The Nigerian police, the Nigerian militaries, um, the Air Force, the navies and um, the Nigerian soldiers should, they, should make a proper investigation before taking before making a move and before coming to social media and say what they discover what they know or what they saw because most times news are not this these things they saw are not the way they saw it are not the way they see it rather and it's actually it's actually destroyed some people's name and all that to my dear listeners please do drop by at the comment section let's see what your view is all about today's news thank you